Hello YouTube, Rubik's Cube X back and right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Kiss Lesser setup for version 1.5 including Qubit Mod 6.05 which is the latest and final version of both of these products. You can go on the for threads and find Kiss Lesser 1.5. 7 1.8 uh 2.7 and possibly 3.0 but the most stable version is 1.5 which you can find on the website link will be in the description this video right now is going to be like the previous one but this one's going to be a walk you through how to set up an initialized kiss slicer just to set up with qubit mod 6.05 with that being said, I have not had any successful prints with 6.05 and I plan on working through those problems as I make these videos. So right now, currently, I have no successful prints, but after I get set up, hopefully we can change that. So let's get started. So we're going to take the files that are in the description and you're going to extract them. That's all you have to do to start with. You're going to extract these files. Oh, and if you if you don't want to experiment with the new stuff, you can always use this video right here just to get a basic setup and going with Kisslizer. Okay, back to this. Uh, so you're going to extract the file of Kisslizer, leave that be. Then you're going to extract the Qubit Mod 6.05, or 05, sorry. Once that's extracted, both of them, you're going to move them side by side and open the Qubit Mod version 6.05. You're going to take every single one of these files, you're going to cut them, and then you're going to open up the Kisslizer and paste them in here. The only reason this is here because I accidentally moved it earlier, so don't worry about that. It's also good to have a backup inside of the folder, so usually take both of your zip files, put them in here so that if any time your program gets crashed or corrupted, you can delete all of these and just restart with these files here and then you can rewatch this video. Okay, so now that you've done that, that folder is no longer needed because we just removed all of its contents. So after looking at the Kiss Slicer, you're gonna double click the 64 bit. It's gonna run. Now, if you've run it on your computer before, it should already remember your previous settings, so don't panic. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to preferences, languages, load a language file. Now navigate to your Kiss Slicer folder and then it should be Qubit Mod version 6.0 or 6.po. Once that's loaded, your the software has actually now knows that the printer is a Cube X. This allows allows printer settings to be inputted such as bed size and bed spaces. Now usually the bed appears but if you don't have the STL, it won't appear. And that link will uh, sometimes does or does not appear. Depends on that. So right now, this is your bed size. And we're not quite done yet. So what you have to do is we have to do the most important step. How do you get it converted? As long as this post here, which is under print firmware, make sure that says bytes for bits, the BFB. As long as this here matches, we're gonna move it over, matches this exe right here, you're good. Because what's happening is, as soon as it finishes compiling the G code, it's gotta run it through a script in order to translate it into the language of a bytes for bits printer. Bytes for bits printer. And if you don't run this post process script, then the language gets disconnected, and then there's gonna be an error, and it's not gonna print. It'll be very frustrating. So once that is done and you've done followed all of these steps, all you have to do now is open an object. So we'll just do the fine tune. It's what's loaded with the qubit mod. It's this one. I'm going to multiply it by a thousand. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's too big. <laughs> uh, we'll go ten. I'll just double it. So this is this 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 is the object, and you can click Control to view like an orbit. I don't know if you guys knew that orbit and I'm not going to walk into any of these settings right now I'm just going to make a couple to see if I can get a test print so 
So what I'm doing now is I'm just quickly going through the settings. Um, I am applying what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a test print to see if any if this is at all going to print uh, as is, and you don't have to do any setup prior to this. Uh, I just got to make sure all of the little things are good to go. Ninety five. Now, if you want to know how to set up all this, to feel free. There will be links uh, later on that will all calculate, explain in detail what every single one of these little notches and buttons does. Does, but for now, like I said, I'm just get trying to get it set up, and I got to make sure that all of these are in there, and they are. So now, let me grab my USB or my flash drive. Sorry, technical terms. I'm going to click slice. And you don't have to do any of this. I'm just going to test it real quick. And now that it's tested, save it. Uh, bytes for bits. Beam. Yes. Okay. So this is the interesting part. I don't know. Okay. So with this being version 6, you're going to get more in-depth and more, well, not in-depth, but more quality parts based on, compared to the one that I did in my preview, version 1.0. 91 and the reason being that the person who developed the software has fixed some patches and tweaked some code and algorithms to make it better okay so i'm going to pause this and i'll come back to see if it prints wow <laughs> surprisingly it works that is very bizarre because every time i've ran this version with the same qubit mod package i've always gotten an error on the printer or the head gets clogged or something's gone m m really messed up but i just tested it just now and it works perfectly fine you just got to make sure that the settings when you print that i'll later on tell you tab by tab that they are where you want them at the particular settings for your printer and you got to know the limits and you got to know the maximum so you don't break your printer any more than you might have already have uh with that being said um i've done a I'll do another video talking about plastic, but for my printer, personally, I found ABS to be the worst printer plastic available unless you have a heated bed. My buddy has a heated bed and it works, I think he said it works wonderfully, but uh, as you guys know, using a Cubex, you don't get that luxury. So, I hope that this helped you guys understand the setup of Kisslicer version 1.5 with Qubit Mod 6.0. Five. Um, I hope that in the next couple of videos, I can teach you guys what each little button does. I hope you enjoyed.